All right, take a live look here at Little Caesars Arena from our uh, downtown Sky Cam. If you get close enough, you'll see people streaming in and out of it for a huge event right there. I believe you're right. Yeah. Yes, I see it. They're all <laughs> wrestling fans, but we're not talking about the WWE. The NCAA Wrestling Championships here all weekend. And as Tim Pamplin shows us, it's a huge draw to the city. We're walking up and into the ball here at the Little Caesars Arena in downtown Detroit. This place is going nuts. Eight matches down there. These are the elimination rounds. Tonight starts the semifinals. But NCAA Wrestling Championships have come to Detroit and the LCA is rocking. Well, this is probably one of the NCAA's best kept secrets. 18 to 20,000 passionate wrestling fans are here in Detroit for three days of action. Yeah, from higher top here in the gondola section, you can look down on the mats. Wrestling, of course, one of the oldest known combat sports, dating back some 5,000 years. These athletes from across the country are at the top of their game. You know, this is an um, accumulation of uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of effort on these guys' part. Um, love coming to this event. This is the first time this event's been held in the city of Detroit. It was up at the Palace once upon a time, and this place is full of about 20,000 people, all rooting for one thing. I think the best part about it is it's full of like-minded people. I think we all understand the work um, and, 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 and time that these young athletes have put into it, and I think that's why it's so exciting. Oh, absolutely. 18 to 20,000 people in town, so the economic impact, you know, over $10 million in direct spending is critically important, especially at this time in our local economy. So back down here on the floor, more wrestlers ready to go on, do their best, as we say, 20,000 fans, filling downtown for this weekend's NCAA Wrestling Champions. That is the scene at the LCA. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. Thanks, Tim. Local 4 News is 6 next with information on a one-two punch of construction drivers will be facing next week in Farmington Hills. And here's Grant Herms. Testimony today 